Hey guys, Anthony Petrobona here back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about how you can make $5,000 a month if you have a $100,000 stock portfolio by selling options. If you're looking to build your wealth through options trading, day trading, or swing trading, you're going to want to subscribe to achieve financial freedom. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it, and let's dive into it. The strategy we're talking about today is selling short strangles. A short strangle is where you sell a call and you sell a put. The reason why this is so powerful is because you can only really lose in one direction. Let's say you're looking at a stock like a firm. The volatility is high on a firm. So what I did a few weeks ago is I sold a strangle, which was the 180 call and the 120 put, meaning I believe that a firm will be below 180 and above 120 in a few weeks. I set this at the beginning of October and it expired October 29th. That's why I have this line here at the top, line at the bottom. As long as a firm is below 180 and above 120, I keep all the premium. The reason why I had belief in this trade is because I set it around here at the beginning of October and a firm was on a crazy run and we saw that it was starting to lose some strength. So I had a feeling that, you know, it wouldn't have a massive sell off, but it would likely trade sideways at this point. And that's almost what it did. You know, it's been going up still, but it didn't continue to have that explosive movement because it had so many legs up, consolidation, leg up, consolidation, leg up, consolidation, leg up, and then continue to go, but with less power. So after so many phases of runs like this, it, it really runs out of power. So I set these while the volatility was high and I collected a significant amount of premium for this. This is the implied volatility for a firm. Remember, when we're selling options, we want implied volatility to be higher because we collect more premium. When we're buying options, we want implied volatility to be lower because that means we're paying less for premium. If you buy a call option when implied volatility is low and then volatility expands, Without the stock moving, the call options can increase in price. And the opposite can happen as well too. So for a firm, I actually sold these puts right here at peak implied volatility, which means I collected basically the most amount of premium because the volatility has been contracting slightly. That just means that the stock isn't moving as much, as much range. And when it does that, that means that there's less likelihood of the out of the money options expiring in the money because if there's less volatility, that means each day there's a less probability that it's gonna have an explosive move in either direction. One short strangle, I sold a firm October 29th expiration, 120 strike for the put, and I sold the same expiration date, 180 call. I sold 10 contracts and received $2.79 per contract. So it's $2.79 times 10, times 100 because each contract is worth 100 shares. So if you do the math on this, all this means is you times 2.79 times 10, and that brings you to $27.9. And then you multiply that by 100, which equals $2,795 that I collected for setting this October 29th expiration at the beginning of October. So it's about three weeks. Now let's take a look at how much buying power that would require for us to put on such a trade. Looking at November 19th expiration, 22 days, that's three weeks away. We're just gonna pretend like we're gonna put on this new trade here. We click on the 120 put to sell, and then we go look for the 180 strike on the call and we sell that you click that there we change that to 10 and now the margin impact is 40,000 US buying power would decrease by about double so if the margin impact is 40,000 that means you would get about 80,000 less in buying power I'm not suggesting to use margin whatsoever this isn't financial advice at all but I'm saying is if you have a $100,000 stock portfolio you can use three to one leverage in buying power and not pay interest on the loan this is currently what I do to earn enough income to cover all of my expenses and much more. So as an example, if you have a $100,000 stock portfolio, you can use 300,000 in buying power to sell these strangles. And in that case, this would use 80,000. So just for simple terms, you could do this trade three times. And that would take up about most of your buying power without getting a margin call. You would collect 7,900 in three weeks as long as a firm is below 180 and above 120. However, a firm is traded in the 160s now, and this is 22 days away, there's a higher probability that it could hit 180. So we might wanna choose the 200 strike. This is a little too sketchy for me because it could continue to push up. So I would be looking at a wider split of about 200 to 120 just to be safe. Let's look at how the trade would play out. So let's say it's November 18th now, we fast forwarded about two and a half weeks and we're looking at a firm, we're saying, seeing what the stock's gonna be at. Well, as long as a firm is above 119 and below 180, you're gonna be massively in the profit. You only really start to take a loss when a firm goes to about 185 or if it goes to about 112. As long as a firm is above 112 and below 187 and 90 cents, 
you don't lose any money on this trade for holding this and you also don't get charged any margin whatsoever this is why i really love selling strangles as long as the firm is above 112 and below 187 and 90 cents you don't lose any money on this trade for holding this and you also don't get charged any margin whatsoever this is why I really love selling strangles on higher implied volatility names. You'll want to search up the stock name and see the implied volatility. Anything that's over 50% is going to give you really good premiums. If it's 100% or higher, it could be pretty sketchy because it could really be moving like 10% every single day if the implied volatility is over 100%. You want to be much more careful and use much wider ranges just to be safe. But if this comes through experience, you're going to take some losses. Remember, when you're selling these puts, you have a low probability of taking a loss, but a higher probability of taking a larger loss if you let this trade go unmanaged. The key is to have tight stop losses and tight rules for yourself to say, hey, if a firm goes a couple dollars in the money on any of these legs, I'm gonna either close it or roll it. You don't know what ro rolling options means? Search up how to roll options with Tasty Trades. Great guide, you're gonna learn everything you need to know to manage options positions. Look at this trade here on a firm. You're gonna collect $7,900 in three weeks and you're able to use a maximum of two more of these. So it's like you're able to earn basically 15 to 22, $23,000 every three weeks. Using this strategy, if you have a $100,000 stock portfolio and you're using your two to one leverage. I'm just sharing the strategies I use to earn extra income to buy more shares of the stocks I wanna own in the long term. Just to show you another example of a safer trade that I would go for is the 200 strike and the 120 strike for the put. This is more a trade I would use and the margin impact is 29,000. So double that, it's about 60,000 that you would take. If you have a $50,000 portfolio, you can put on this trade that expires in three weeks, the Affirm Strangle and collect 4,300 as long as Affirm is below 200 and above 120 in three weeks. I just want more people to understand this because you can be fully invested and have no more cash left, but just use the buying power to manage positions and really soak up the premium and let theta work in your favor. Remember, you wanna choose strikes that expire in 30 days or less because the theta decay is most rapid. But you wanna look at stocks that are close to topping out and they're running out of that explosive juice, but still have a little bit of explosive juice so that way the implied volatility is high enough for you to collect good premiums. This is how you can make $5,000 a month with even a $50,000 stock portfolio. The best part is this is relatively passive, so you don't have to be looking at this every single day. You can check up on this at the end of every two days or so and just see what the stock closed at and see if you need to manage the position by rolling the call or rolling the put. It's important to note that when you set these, the loss is technically unlimited on the downside and unlimited on the upside. So if a stock goes supernova parabolic on you and does it and goes 50% higher than the call you have, you will take a significant loss and blow up your entire account. This is where the risk comes in. You have to be managing these positions in order to succeed long term. If a firm just goes 20% above the strike, will you be taking a 40k loss? Meanwhile, you would only be collecting 4,000 if it expires worthless. The losses can be so huge, but the probability of success is so high. If a stock goes in the money in your strike, you'll wanna close it because the, the losses can become so exponential that it could blow up your entire account. And the same thing's true on the downside. If a firm goes down to 100, well, again, you're taking a 15, $18,000 loss. Meanwhile, you collected 4,300 for a wait in three weeks. Gains are smaller, but the losses can be so huge. Another example is on coin, Coinbase. I sold the 295, 380 strangle, which means I sold the 295 put and I sold the 380 call. This means that I think, coin will be between 295 and 380 by November 19th. And I just set this trade on today. So this expires in two and a half weeks. I sold four contracts and the average price was 1707. So you'll do 1707 times four times 100. That worked out to be $6,800. So I'm collecting $6,800 to sell these as long as Coinbase is between 295 and 380 by November 19th, then I collect my $6,800 and nothing else happens and expires worthless. Fast forward to November 19th and we forgot about this position, we didn't manage it, we just let it go and Coinbase goes ahead and hits 450. Well, the loss we would take is gonna be $6,000. So your loss is five times your potential gain if you let it go unmanaged. And on the downside, if we drop about 10% below the strike on the put, 
would be around 275 and would be taking just a $344 loss. We could do the same trade on Tesla stock, but this would be a little more frightening because we know how explosive Tesla can be. And in my opinion, it's, it's possible that it's in the beginning of this explosive stage. However, what I personally would feel relatively safe doing is looking at the November 19th expiration. To be safe, I would sell the 950 put and then I would go ahead and I would sell the 1250 call because I think it's possible that Tesla does actually hit 1200 on this momentum, but to go much to go higher than 1200 to me it's it's so slim. So we would sell the 950, sell the 1250 big spread. One of these contracts would be a 44,000 margin impact. Double that would be about 90,000. So again, you would want to have over a $100,000 portfolio to put this trade on. But for selling this, you would collect $3,715 in three weeks. You would collect mo more money than the coin one. But in my opinion, based on the charts, it's a little frightening to sell calls on Tesla stock because when it goes, it just keeps going. And it, it seems so irrational, but it happens. So it's just too scary to sell calls on Tesla stock, especially in the strength that it currently has. I would just stay away from this trade. If you wanted to, you could choose the 1300 strike to be really safe and still collect a significant amount of money. This is how you can make over $5,000 a month if you have a $50,000 stock portfolio or greater by selling short strangles every three to four weeks. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it. Subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next video.